and you thought that we would be done with our five friends that we met in the previous video. Well, they are going to be with us here in this video and I would just like to quickly explain something about this formula that I introduced in the last video. So in the last video I used this formula and in the place of P a or B, I just used the, or that, that meant maths or science. And then for A, that was maths, I said four. And for science, that was three. And then for the people who did both, that was Harry and Todd, where I said two. But I didn't mention everything. P actually stands for probability. So that I did mention. But probability is always a fraction or a percentage. So in the place of, for four over here, that was the people who did maths. Well, that was actually supposed to be four out of a total of five people. But in that previous video, I just used numbers, okay? Now, I did that on purpose. It's just so you can get an idea of what or how the formula is working. But in future videos, we will stick to the strict definitions of probability, which is always a fraction. But for now, it's absolutely fine to think of it like that as it deepens your understanding of what's happening. In the previous video, we ranked these people. So if you remember, this was Rick, this was Jane. I still don't remember what this guy's name was originally, but we named him Ernest after a while. Then this became, well, this was always Todd, and this was always Harry. Now, you could list them like this. So you could say maths, and then you could show all the people who do maths. You could have science, and then you could have both. But mathematicians have come up with a better way to do it, a, a way that describes it even better and that is using a Venn diagram so that's the thing with the circles that your teacher might be showing you in class currently so the way it works is you draw yourself a big box you then draw a circle for each kind of event so in the event that we're doing we have maths and science now good question if you're wondering should the circles interlink or should they not well sometimes it's not always easy to understand well, to know from the beginning, but as if you have people who do both maths and science, then you can link them together. So we know that Todd and Harry do both, and so we can actually link these, like that over there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the five people and place them in the appropriate place. So this M is to represent the circle on the left for maths, the S is the circle on the right, and that's science. In class, your teacher might draw three circles, but that's if there were three items. So for example, geography, science, and maths. But in this case, we just have two examples. So let's go collect some of those people that we met and place them in the correct region. So if we had to start off with Rick, who's this guy over here, he only does maths. So if he's gonna go to those circles, he has to land up at the following place because that section is only for, for maths only. Let's go fetch some other people. Let's go fetch Todd. So Todd is over here. Now Todd is a person who does both maths and science. And so let's go place him on the diagram. Now placing Todd like that would not be correct because Todd is only one person. So what we do is we place Todd over here. And what that tells us is that, oh, Todd is in the middle over here. So that means he's part of the math circle, but he's also part of the science circle. And so he's happy. Next, we can go fetch Jane. And Jane, who's over here, she only does maths. And so we can place her there like that in the maths only circle. If we had to put her in the middle here by Todd, then it means she also she would, she would also be inside the science circle. Okay, now we'll go fetch the other two people. So we'll take Ernest next. Now Ernest, he's a science guy. He doesn't do any maths, he just does science. So he gets placed on the outside circle like that so because as soon as he goes in here then he's gone then he's inside the math circle as well but he doesn't do maths so he's only inside the science circle and then lastly will be harry who just like todd does both maths and science and there we have a simplification of the whole process so this part is for people who do maths only this part highlighted in purpley pink that's for people who do science only. And then this part in the middle is for people who do maths and science. Strictly the word and, not all. Now, if you had to shout at these five people and say, hey guys, who of you do maths or science? They would all put their hands up. So everything inside the circles 
those are the people who do maths or science. Some of them do both, some of them only do maths, some of them only do science, but w they do at least do maths or science. So let's do a bit of a test. So if I had to shout at these people and say, who does maths only? Who would put their hand up? Rick and Jane. Who does maths and science? Now careful there, I said maths and science, not maths or science. So Ernest, please don't get too eager there. Rick and Jane, we're not talking to you right now. We're talking to Todd and Harry because they do maths and they do science. Are there any of you who do science only? Well, yes, now that would be Ernest. And do any of you like to do maths or science? Well, yes, all of us do. We all do maths or science. Some of us do maths only, some of us do science only, and some of us do both. While these five people were sitting in the class and the teacher was trying to work out who does maths and who does science, Ernest's friend, whose name is Michael, walks past the classroom and he gets a bit upset as he feels that he's missing out. And so he walks in there, and so let's meet Michael, and he asks the teacher if he may join in on the experiment, and she says, well, okay, fine, so which of the two do you do? Do you do maths or do you do science? And Michael hesitantly replies and says, well, I don't, I do geography. And so everyone in the class giggles a little bit because they know what's going on. And so the teacher says, well, fine, of course you can join our experiment. I'll place you in this category over here. And so on a Venn diagram, there's a place for everyone. If you don't do any of the events, then you have a place here on the outside of the border. And so in a Venn diagram, this border part inside the so it's outside of the circles, but inside the big block, that's for the people who don't do any of them. Okay, so in this experiment, there are now six people, and Michael, the newest addition, he doesn't do maths or science, he does geography, okay? So he goes on the outside like that. So now I'm gonna ask a few questions. So let's look at the word, prob or let's look at what probability means. So what is the probability that someone does maths? Now, it doesn't say maths only, so where are the people who do maths? Well, they would be here. And so there would be four of them. Four of them out of a total, because remember probability is actually always a fraction, so it's gonna be four out of six people. So two out of three, if you simplify that. The next question is, what is the probability that someone does science only? Well, science only was this was earnest. And so there's only one person who does science only. I mean, Todd and Harry do science, but they don't do science only. So out of the six people, one of them would do science only. The next question is the probability of science. Then remember this symbol here means and. You can sort of see the word and over there, that little middle letter. So who does science and maths? Well, that's Harry and Todd, and that's two people out of a total of six, and so that's one over three. Can everyone who does science and maths, sorry, not science and maths, can everyone who does science or maths please put their hand up? Well, all five of them would put their hands up because all five of them do science or maths. Some of them do both, some do only one of them. And so five out of six people, so let me write this out properly, science, or, now all has a symbol like that, it's like a U, science or maths, that's gonna equal to five out of six. If you wanted to use the formula that we looked at in the previous video for or, then you would use this. Now that's how the formula would look in a test or on a formula sheet, but our A and B can be replaced with M and S, because we're doing maths and science. And so this part here says probability of maths or science, this says probability of maths and science. And so if we wanna work out who does maths or science, we can count it on the Venn diagram, and that's what we did now, and we got five people. But if you wanna to stick to the maths, then you just use the formula. So the probability of maths, so that means all of the people who do maths, well, all of the people who do maths, there are four of them. So because it's a P, it means probability, so it's four out of six people. P of S means the probability of science, but that's all of the science people. So that's three people out of a total of six minus the, pro the people who do both, which is Harry and Todd. And so that's gonna be two out of six. And so that's gonna give us a total of five out of six. And that's exactly what we got over there.